we explore the dexterity of the wrist to afford single-handed interaction using IMU data fused from a smartwatch and a smart ring. Here you see our initial exploration with a smartwatch and a smartphone. By pretending this is a ring, you can see in real time the primitive hand model consisting of cubes displayed on the right, the smartwatch movements in the center, and the phone movements on the left. Next you can see our final prototype with an independent smart ring we developed. Now on the right you can see a higher resolution wrist model along with the watch and ring representations to the left. Finally, to demonstrate real-world applicability, here is our system operating on a commodity smart ring and smartwatch. Here you can see a dummy hand with sensors affixed and wrist tracking used to collect over 50,000 measurements for our evaluation. Here you can see wrist in comparison to three other pointing techniques, including ray casting, relative pointing and clutching, and a dual precision technique, laser and gyro. Relative and dual precision employ a long click for mode switching, while employing a short click for selection. Here is an example of a user study trial. The user is asked to raise their hand and then move towards the target. Subsequent targets are highlighted with circles. Next, we see our test interface which requests the user to input a particular gesture, then recognizes this and records their performance for later analysis. Also affords a range of position-aware sensing, which can be leveraged to offer context-aware interactions. Here we see hands down, hands out, and hands up gesture input and recognition. We explore a range of application scenarios in this paper from gaming to cursor control, or gesture shortcuts to map navigation and clock control. Next we can see continuous gesture detection of the wrist, circle, triangle, counterclockwise rectangle, left bracket, right bracket, check, pigtail, and finally, a star. Here we can see a range of wrist gestures used to control a map for navigation. Zooming, panning, all possible with single-handed gesture interaction. Here, simple flexion and extension shows the ability to rate control input to a watch face. Small movements or larger movements change the speed with which the face updates. We can combine pointing together with gestures. First, point at a task and then use a wrist gesture to check or cross. Pointing and gesturing affords natural interaction in a smart home scenario. For example, one can point at a TV and flick up or down to change the channel. Then, you can point at a lamp and control the brightness, and point at the speakers and control the volume. Pie menus or marking menus can be found in gaming. So, here one can point at the menu with the arm and then use the wrist motion to trigger the second level menu. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed these examples.